So Argos, yet another tool. Much easier to install than Silk and ISO. Next slide, please. And it's really easy. So there should be an Argos data folder. Welcome to play along. And it's really simple. Just Argos, hyphen R, your PCAP, and the packet's out. And I did that for you. And just like ISO, you need a special tool to read it. So it's raw, hyphen R, netflow file. Next. And Argos consists of a few subprograms here. Raw, which we said, um, or RA. Basic Argos record reading, printing, storing. Uh, same thing as like RW cut, essentially, to look at the files. You have RA bins. So you can align Argos data into time based bins. Again, very similar to Silk. RA cluster, data aggregation. RA count, totally various aspects of an Argos stream, or tally, I apologize. The next one is Argos records, collection and distribution. Um, they have an anonymized one, which is really neat. So if you want to take some data and anonymize it for distribution purposes. Sorry, yeah, so I didn't talk about that earlier. Uh, Silk also has an anonymization uh, tool where it'll go in and randomize your IPs. Uh, and we did that with the data we supplied. No. No. Okay, never mind. Good. So um, we, we say randomize the IPs means that it's consistently. Yes. Yes. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Two solving who. Yeah. Just yeah. Gives them yeah. yeah. Exactly. It's and it'll give you a mapping file so you can go back and forth uh -huh. uh, if you need to. Yeah. Uh, they have a sort, Argos file, stream sorting, and a split. So you can split, distribute Argos data streams, and write to the state of the files. So next slide. Oh, and uh, if you go back, uh, on their website, as examples, we'll always give more information. So next slide, please. So what does the output look like? Very similar. Uh, you have a time field. You have a MAC address field. This is straight from the man page and source code, if you have any questions. Um, MAC address, it's an optional one, it's not by there by default. So like the VLAN information, that was uh, at the layer two level. So uh, protocol information. And the next slide, they do protocols differently, and I really don't like it, it's weird, but we'll cover it. So here's how the protocols work. Um, you're going to have multiple columns, and you're going to start with, uh, so M is MPLS encapsulation flow. You have all these other ones you don't see, uh, power over, or Ethernet encapsulated ones, multiple encapsulations. Okay, here we go. So source TCP packet retransmissions, here's this S, D. If both sides of the retransmission, you'll see a star. Um, if it's out of order, you'll see I. And if the, if the other way is out of order, you'll see an R. And if they're both out of order, you'll see an ampersand. Next slide. Here's what I don't like about it. Now, so this field has multiple or three um, uh, horizontal spacings. There'll be two capital S's here. So when you look at it, you're going to have to kind of look at the spacings to figure out which S it is. Um, yeah, I didn't build it. Uh, source TCP window closure, destination TCP window closure. Again, at symbol means phone. You can see it all here. ICMP, I, script source route, and the optional new source route as well. Next slide. You shouldn't see a lot of those, so I'm not going to cover them. Uh, Timestamp T, optional security, plus sign, record routes up there, multiple IP options. If there's fragments, you'll see that particle fragment, lowercase up, and fragment overlap scene B. So these ones you might see a little bit. Uh, next. Okay, so like yeah, you'll see this direction field, and it'll point which way uh, in the flow of communication things are talking. If you see this indication, it was normal, everything's good. If you see this one, it was reset. O is a timeout, and if there's no idea what was going on, you'll see a question mark. All right, keep in mind Argus is bidirectional, or is the silk records we're looking at earlier unidirectional? So this uh, yes, to interpret really yep. important, and might be some chance of some uh, interpretation. Exactly what we're seeing on the wire. Yeah. Right, next slide, please. Okay, other information. Just like Silk and Yeah, host, you'll see a count. 
Um, the first two are the packet counts, and the last two are byte counts. And I'll get into that a little bit. If you have questions, we can dive in the app pages if needed. So you see the status, which indicates principal status of the transaction, and it's protocol dependent. So next slide doesn't work well on this stuff. Um, okay, here it gets a little interesting. So this REQ INT means request an initial. It's only seen, um, it's based on how you set up the Argos server. I just have the default settings for this here. ACC means accepted, which is request response condition. For TCP, it means that the request has been answered and the connection will be accepted. All right, next slide. Established con means the record indicates that it's currently active. Established or it's continuum. Closed, self-explanatory, indicate that the TCP connection closed. Timeout means that it timed out. There's no activity related to the transaction. An ICMP is a man page. If you're curious about it, you can do man uh, RA or man Argos. Next. So now we actually go through a bunch of tools. Uh, so count, same approach that you saw with Silk. And all you're going to do is just already count. And in that data folder, there should be a Argos directory. You can find it there. And it's just riitalk.argos. You should be seeing those kind of results. Where's the Argos directory? Uh, if you go to home, user, student, or yeah, a no, home student, there should be a data directory there. Okay, if you want to learn more how this works, just map our account. Next slide, please. Okay. So let's actually open up and look what this, these things look like. And I'm sure you'll be looking back at the slides. So if you, if you can pipe this up the last week at the time. Um, so here, these are those weird uh, information we talked about earlier that you can reference back to. Um, it also tries to figure out what it was doing. So you'll see MDNS here, service load, uh, domain, net BIOS. It tries to determine what kind of traffic. HTTP. And here, you'll see uh, who has at least an ARC related. Yeah. yeah, right here. Your protocols. Your directions and your flows, which we talked about. Back and forth, away. So if you want to pipe this out to the text file, you can do that. Um, and oh, here's our thin reset, so let's we'll this as well. So I guess the question would be the same kind of port scanners you found and the same uh, strange behavior. See how it looks like in Argos. But the difference is one of the byproducts of the flow. Oh, yeah. 